Welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play adventure and another video in my epic world. Today is going to be an extra special episode, at least it is to me, and I'll explain why as we go along. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and grab some wheat and feed Gertrude Num Num Nums Good. Morning, Gertrude. Hope you're having a lovely day. We still need a name for our parrot. I need some names, guys, in the uh, the comment section below. Please feel free to leave those down there. Also, feel free to join along and uh, subscribe. It's free to do, and uh, you can unsubscribe at any given time. Let's go ahead and go to our hall of gratitude by running through our living room and uh we have an extra special guest uh that we're thanking today hey reuben how you doing uh let's go ahead and give reuben a carrot good morning buddy i hope you're having a lovely day i am so it's gonna be a good one uh today's name has already been on here it's all the way over here uh it's the top name I, I i don't know who that person is i just remember that they said something nice a long time ago but the top name is magnifo magnifo for those of you that have been following along for many years is a uh is a good friend of mine and was one of my helpers here on, on my epic world and they helped me build a ton of things and they joined along in a bunch of videos and they became uh, a, re a really good friend over uh over time lives all the way across the country as most of my friends do but nonetheless we chat every once in a while and uh, i feel like he has a very special place specifically on this world on this map um, so I gave him an honorary, well, let's just show you right here. I gave him an honorary badge right here, Magnifo, along with everybody else. That's very important to me in my life. Uh, but Magnifo does definitely belong here up front and center. And today is, the whole video is going to be mostly dedicated uh, to him. So uh, we're going to be building something a little extra special. I'm going to go show you where his house is. He built a house here a long, long time ago um, over here by the Krusty Krab. I don't even think the Krusty Krab was here yet. I think it was just a dirt field, but the Pokey Marina was here. And you'd go down here, and there's the Pokey, uh, what do you call it, the SS Pokemon. Or was it the SS Pikachu? I think that's the SS Pikachu. Uh, and then we have his little house here. Nothing fancy, but it's really cool. It's on the water. I mean, how could you not love a house on the water? And uh, he's got his little amenities here. He's got a little secret passage back here with some of his storage. We won't go through his storage because that's not my stuff. But I did put a sign up in his house because um, because you, you are a nerd, Josh. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing a, another little build in dedication of Magnifo. If you didn't know, Magnifo's skin is a, a, a panda bear. So we happen to have all the way over here um, some pandas that spawned in after the update. Um, the, oh, did we grow? No, we did not. I thought we grew a, a chicken. We did not grow a chicken. But anyway, over here, uh, we I, uh, there's some bamboo that was over here, and then there's some panda bears that kind of just spawned in this general area. So I fenced them in because I didn't want them to despawn. Uh, there were three. Oh, there's three. Okay, good. I thought we lost one. Oh, no, I was so scared. So I grabbed some supplies and I put them over here. And what we're going to build ourselves, because this is kind of lame and it's kind of sad for the pandas. We want a bigger location for them. We're going to build a panda sanctuary. And it's going to be uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. I, I think it's going to be fun, uh, fun to build. And it's going to give our pandas a better place to live. Um, I know pandas have been in the game for a long time, but I never really focused on them. Um, I just kind of thought of this T today really because uh why not so we're gonna grab a few items here we're gonna grab some uh you know i don't have i don't have a crafting table i put everything else here but no crafting table let's grab a bunch of acacia planks uh let's grab ourselves a crafting table let's put the crafting table just uh let's put it right over over here over over here <laughs> enough jumping all right so i had to take off my uh my helmet and my uh, pants because my pants were super high speed and my helmet keeps giving me night vision so i forget when it's nighttime and um i tend to end up having to fight a bunch of mobs which i don't mind doing because i, I am pretty invincible with this armor on but uh it ends up putting holes in the ground because of stinking creepers so yes <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll fix that uh, later on but right now let's go ahead and we're gonna build the sanctuary out and i'm not sure the pattern i want but i do want a bunch of logs for the outside and the reason why we're using acacia is because he used acacia for his house so i figure it's very fitting so we're gonna jump over here ah, i don't know why i'm going so slow okay so we're gonna start from up here and I think we're going to go about two blocks in. So from the walkway, one, two, so about here. And we'll go here. One, two, three. 
like this. And we're going to bring this over to about how far? So it needs to be on this row here. Oh, geez, that's going to be tough. We're going to put it right here on the edge. Maybe not the edge. Like right there. We'll go four blocks high on the posts, on the main columns. Uh, we're going to go here, and we're also going to go up there. Okay, cool. And then we're also going to swap out our tools because our tools have some serious damage that they cause. So I'm going to put this up here. Oh, I'm not going to put it in the chest. I don't want to lose that on accident. I'm going to grab the pickaxe, the shovel, and the, and the regular axe. I'm going to put that stuff up here. Because if we were to accidentally swipe our um, axe or our shovel near the pandas, it will kill them. <laughs> it kills like a, a nine block radius. It's really terrible. Okay, so we grabbed our diamond stuff. That should do. That, that'll be sufficient. Okay, so we're going to go. That's our two corners there. We're going to run down this way, and we're going to put another corner all the way over. Let's put it here. We're going to put it here. One, two, three, and four. And we'll remove some of this dirt and replace some of it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so then the last corner is going to go all the way over here. And how far up are we? I think it's one more block right here. Uh, we're going to put some dirt down, though. Let's go ahead and grab this piece of dirt. I think it's right here, right? So we got in line with that and in line with that. Yes. One, two, three. And I'll put a fourth one up when, when I can. All right. So for right now, we have our we have all of our corners, which is good. We may have to reorganize it because I want it to be spaced evenly. Uh, so I, I don't know how far away things are going to be from each other. Like I want, I'd like to do every three. Uh, I don't know if that's practical. One, two, three, like that. And then one, two, three, and then another one here. One, two, three, just like that. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, two, three, just like that. We'll, we'll try that. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if I have enough material and we have to go back to the house and go get more, which is fine. We got plenty of acacia wood, uh, but I think I do need some dirt. Let's grab, oh, we did grab some dirt. Oh, my ticks are really high. Okay, one, two, and three. You know, we might have to remove this tree, which is fine. Okay, it's fast decay, so no big deal, which sucks. It's a really pretty tree, but it is what it is. So I'm going to fill this area in with dirt as well because it just looks awkward, I think. I think we're going to, oh, what what tree is that? A rainbow birch. Well, that's freaking cool. All right, so we're going to put some dirt in right here. Yeah, pandas, we're making you guys a really cool home. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this bottom piece, and we're going to fill that in with dirt, and then we'll go one. Oh, that's too close. We're going to have to move that back. Okay, so we're going to put it right here, and then we'll add some dirt around it because I don't want it to be... I don't know. I don't want it to look hokey. So the bottom piece is going to have to also be a piece of a piece of uh, wood because you can't have exposed dirt like that. It looks silly. It just makes it taller. Not a big deal. Like I said, I think we've got a buttload of acacia at home, so it's not a not a problem. OK, so that's every three. We can go up one higher there and then this is going to come down. Uh, this is going to have to have some filler over here as well. Um, we might have to fill some of this in and maybe make it a lake or something like that. Because the elevations are too high and um, it'll look a little awkward. So we may do that. I think we're going to do that, actually. We're going to go one, two, and then we're going to raise this up one as well. Because we have to move that anyway, right? Because of the location of that. Yep, we do. But then this is going to be here. Okay, let's go home and grab some more uh, some more acacia. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, we need more dirt. That's what we need. I know we're going to remove a little bit right here because this is where my entrance is going to be. Oh, shoot. There's a rail station underneath there. I can't do that. Crap. Uh, yes. <laughs> There's a train station here. Where is that coming from? And where is it going to? Oh, we can fly, can't we? <laughs> I forget we can fly. Where is that train station going? Is it coming from here? Let's see. There's a staircase here. This takes us to a rail station here. But where does it go? I honestly don't know where this one goes. I don't remember it. Oh, my goodness. My brain is mush. But, yeah, we have, like... There is part of our little thing. And then this train station comes this way and goes that way. Oh, my goodness. It goes to some really cool caverns. Anyway, so, yeah, there's, I guess there's a train station here. I don't honestly remember. I remember building this whole little outside portion, making it pretty, but I don't remember the train station. Oh, well, not a problem. Let's go and let's go grab some dirt really quick. I forgot we could fly so we can get there pretty quickly. Uh, do, do, do. Meow. Bam. Okay. Uh, let's go dirt. Oh, we got, we got dirt right here. We'll grab a couple stacks of dirt. 
Um, and then we'll get some more acacia. We'll grab maybe two stacks of acacia just to be safe. I don't want to be out of material. So close those and we'll head back over. Okay, let's go ahead and fill all this in. We're going to make a little lake here too uh, for them to kind of chill in because you can't have cool house, cool uh, sanctuary without a lake. I mean, you can, but we're not going to have a cool sanctuary without a lake. Okay, and then we're going to fill this in and we're going to actually pull this out one block. And we're going to do the same over here. I'd rather waste the dirt than the uh, than the acacia. So not that I don't have enough. I think, what did we have? A few thousand acacia blocks. I think we're, we've got plenty. Okay. And I think we're going to fill a lot of this in with dirt, but then we're going to border some of it with sand because you can't have a beach without sand, I don't think. I mean, you can, but we're not going to. And I think we have some sand up here, uh, like so. And then we're going to fill some of this in with sand. Even though it's going to be under the wall, it'll look funny. Okay. And then we're going to kick this out this way, and this will also be sand. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, I think that looks good. It's just going to be a little little body of water. Nothing fancy, just because we do need water for our uh, our pandas. They do need to have some place to chill and, you know, bathe and all that other stuff. Because you can't have dirty pandas. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put these this water over here. Um, and I don't know if it's going to fill in if I do this. There we go. That looks nice and solid. So now we can grab water from here if we need to and the reason why i have water bottles on me is because i have to drink <laughs> uh that's silly okay anyway so we got some random wood here we're not going to use that uh let's go ahead and finish our border of wall by using the acacia so it's one two three one two three four one two three four one two th okay so we might have to go out with dirt one more block but that's fine let's go ahead and keep keep this up and keep doing our three buys. Oh, let's get to bed before the mobs start coming out. It's already nighttime. I need to get a map on this. <laughs> I really do. I think it'd look cool too. All right, so let's go grab our axe, and we're going to remove that second column that we that we made in the, I want to say the wrong spot, but we just didn't count very well. All right, so there we go. Okay, one, two, three. Mm, I think that's one too high, has it, isn't it? There's a horse in the jungle. Hey, horse, you stuck? That's weird. That's real weird. Four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, cool. That's our border. That's our entire border, I believe. Some of these need to go up a little higher to go to four. That needs to go to four, 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 and four. Okay, that makes everything four tall and where we want it. Let's go grab some cobblestone. And again, the reason why we're using these materials is because these are the same materials that Magnifo used on his house. And I want to make sure that they match because I think that looks cool. We're going to give it this little pattern. Oops. We're going to give it this little pattern here like that. Oops. You know, this one here is probably going to be our gateway, our entrance. We're probably going to make it this one or this one. I think we'll make it this one because I don't think it's blocking the train station. Once we remove all this crap, it will be our entrance, I believe. Okay. And then this last one, I think we're going to go ahead and remove this and this just to make it fit a little nicer. Yeah, like that. <laughs> all the bamboo. I love the way it sounds when it collapses. Oh, we need more. More cobblestone, please. We already used all of our cobble. Here are the eagles. Okay, so some of this is going to have to go because it looks silly. And we'll have to go get some more cobblestone because I don't like the way the dirt looks um, below something that looks like it's missing a foundation. And I think it looks less complete. So we have to fill that in. Okay, that looks better. And then I think we have one more for right here. Perfect. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, cool. So we have that bit done. Uh, let's go ahead and add, I think we need some fence posts to add for the top. So we're going to remove this. This No, it's, it exposes the train station. Dang it. Can we, does it matter though? Like, can the train station end right? Oh, it can. Okay, cool. So we can go like this. Yes. And I don't think it affects the rails. You know what I mean? I'm going to put this down here. We're going to grab these lanterns. And we're going to put those to the tops of all of these posts. I don't know if there's enough. There is enough. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to grab, I think we have a bunch of trap doors. Uh, we grabbed a stack at least. And we're going to, yep, I don't care which direction they go. And then we'll have to do the inside too, but I'll do that in a little bit. That does look good with the one on top too though. Oops. We have a bunch of acacia, so we can waste a lot of this. It's not a big deal. I don't know how it does that. That's so strange, right? Okay, how do we get more? I mean, I know how we get more, but let's get some more. Uh, let's grab some acacia planks. Let's go to our handy dandy thingamafinger. Is it this? That makes them, yeah. It makes us 20. 
We'll make 40. We have so much acacia, it's fine. Make ourselves a whole nother stack. It's no big a deal. What's getting me? Oh, one of those plants. Have you seen one of those? Oh, those are so gnarly. Check this out. See if it attacked me. Oh, the thing is creepy. Look at the damage it does to me, too. That nuts. Oh, man, those things are so creepy. Okay. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's go ahead and go to bed again. We're going to put some... I think we're going to do f wood fence, um, not the gate fence. I think the, the iron fence is going to look too harsh. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Let's see. Does this look better? That actually does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's, it looks pretty nice. I don't know if we have enough. We're going to need some more cobble right there. We don't have enough. We have to go get some more iron. Okay, let's go get some more iron, and we'll come back and do the... The rest of it. let's go ahead and actually remove some of this stuff Put it in our inventory really quick we're gonna remove this uh this guy here and we're gonna remove this oh do we not have room for a chest okay let's put the chest put the chest over here let's put all this crap in there and remove this guy i guess we didn't need the furnace i usually always add a furnace because i never know what i'm gonna need uh it's always helpful like if i need to make if i need to make a uh, smooth stone or something Okay, let's go grab some, let's go grab some cobble and some iron and we'll finish this up. Oh, we have 27 bars. We'll just grab some iron too. I think we have enough. <laughs> Is it this for the bars? Yeah, we can put some of these away and put that away too. Okay. Okay. So kind of decorated it a little bit. It's nothing fancy. I'm going to put some flowers on it too, I think. Do we have, do we have flowers? Did we grab flowers? No, we didn't grab any flowers, but I want to grab some flowers and put them around too. Um, some of this. Some of this might go a long way as well. So, like, if we did, like, more of this, I don't know if that looks good. Maybe just across the front, like this. I can go one, two, three more. Let's see. Like that. And then I'll just do this top one. Okay. Maybe like that. And then we'll go grab some flowers and put them around. And this will be our panda sanctuary, I think. I think that, that looks good. We'll make a sign really quick. Uh, we'll go, go to bed one more time. It is freezing in the studio today. Okay. And we're going to write right here the... Magnifo Panda Sanctuary. I think I spelled sanctuary wrong. I think that's right. <laughs> I think that's right. Hold on a second. I got to check myself. How do you spell sanctuary? Oh, no. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> so now we can go inside and we could remove all the existing fence posts to give them a little freedom. And then we'll feed them a little something to get them a little. Maybe we can get some more baby pandas. There we go. Parrots and Oh, we got a baby panda. I don't want to accidentally hit the baby panda. I don't want to hit you either on accident. You guys have to move. We'll make some stairs too in just a second so we can get in here a little easier. See if they'll come up this way. Here you guys go. There you go. Look how cute you are. This guy is just stuck here at this fence, isn't he? I don't want to accidentally hit him. Don't be a dope, dude. Move. Move somewhere else. There we go. <laughs> is he rolling around? Oh, that is super adorable. Okay, let's see if we can get some more pandas up here. Here. There's bamboo everywhere, guys. Just for you. Okay, let's make some stairs and make it an easy entrance and exit for us. No, I think we need to add the dirt back. I think that looks funny. I think what we'll do is we'll make some, we'll grab some wood and we'll do some stairs. And then we'll grab this wood and we'll make some planks. We'll do something like this. Yeah, that works. It's a little off cuff, but I mean, we can move this guy too. And then we can make this walkway a little wider here. Make it like angled a little bit. There we go. And maybe we put the post here works i don't know where that goes either let's plant a tree in here like one of these rainbow trees let's see if it grows properly Look at all this bamboo let's plant the other ones out here okay we got a couple more whoa what attacked me well it just grew instantly and it choked me out okay let's go put all this stuff back in storage maybe we'll just leave some bamboo here for the actually what we'll do is this yeah We'll leave it natural habitat inside, except for the chest. Yeah, look at that. I think we got ourselves a nice little habitat for our panda friends. That looks cool. It's right next to the bird sanctuary. We can probably attach the two. Give them a little more space up here. That would be kind of cool. And we'll go ahead and put a sign right here. And it'll be uh, panda sanctuary. Gosh dang it. I keep hitting the cap locks. And there we go. We got our... Uh, our panda sanctuary, where to go? <laughs> Our panda sanctuary, um, all prettied up. We can put some flowers, some pe whatever the lilacs that are out there, and uh, kind of put some plants and stuff around. We put more bamboo around the outside of it, and it looks fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this 
this uh, Panda Sanctuary is dedicated to uh, my good friend Magnifo. Hope you guys also enjoyed. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below and follow along by hitting that subscribe button. Like I said before, it's free to do and you can always unsubscribe at any given time. So it helps the channel out more than you know. Anyways, till the next one. See ya.